Hello everyone, welcome to the final installment of the trigonometry unit. This is lesson five, uh, solving problems with multiple triangles. So in this, there's going to be a couple of different types of problems and figuring out which method to use is going to be probably the most difficult part. Once we find out what method we want to use um, or the order of things, uh, it's generally fairly straightforward to perform the math in terms of it's just SOHCAHTOA that we've been doing the entire unit. Um, for the one that you can see on the screen below me, uh, that is um, a situation where we have two triangles that share uh, a side. And when that happens, a lot of times in these problems, you're going to need to find that side before you can find out what the question is asking you. So. In this problem, it's asking, calculate the length of CD to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. So if we look at it, we only have an angle in that triangle. We have no side on that triangle to be able to perform our trig ratios. We do have a shared side with the other triangle, BD. Um, so we should be able to use the information in the other triangle to find that, and from there be able to find side CD. Um, Let's get going on that. I'll draw it here, and it's not gonna be perfect, but that is okay by me. That's a triangle, just so you know. Um, now, this is B, C, A, D, 47. This is 26 degrees, and this is 4.2 centimeters. So we are gonna find side B, D, um, with this angle of reference, this is the opposite side, and this is the hypotenuse. So we are going to be finding, uh, using sine, uh, because we have opposite and hypotenuse, that's so. So sine of 47 is equal to the opposite, which is 4.2, divided by the uh, hypotenuse, which is side B, D. Now when it's on the bottom, we are simply going to flip the two um, from top to bottom so that we can find out what BD is. So BD is equal to 4.2 divided by the sine of 47. Side BD is equal to 5.74 centimeters. So now we have that side. So we have an angle and a side so we can find out what the length CD is. Uh, from this angle of reference, we have the hypotenuse and we're interested in the adjacent. So that would be cosine. So we have cosine of 26 is equal to the adjacent, which is CD, over the hypotenuse, which we just found, which is 5.74 centimeters. We can multiply this by on both sides to move this up to the top. So CD will then equal 5.74 times the cosine of 26, and CD then equals 5.2 centimeters. So if we're getting so close to the cutoff. So we were able to solve one piece of a, the shared triangle, and then find the last piece after that. Let's move on to the next problem. Ah, uh, yes, you guys get to see one in color. Well, mine is in black and white over here. That's okay. So, we have a 20 meter high building. Let's draw that. We've got a 20 meter high building right here. And a surveyor measured the angle of elevation to the top of another building. So, the other building, let's say we're right there. The angle of elevation up to the top of that building he said was 30 degrees. He then said to the base, the angle of depression, so this is always from the horizontal, was 15 degrees. So this is a 20 meter high building. And he said that this angle here was 15 degrees. He wants to know um, what the height of the taller building is. So we actually know what this bottom section is already. We already know that if this is 20 meters high, the bottom section is 20 meters high. 
but we don't know anything but the angle for the top half of the building. We only know that it's a 30 degree angle from here um, to the top of the building. We don't know how far it is between, how tall this part is, or what the line of sight length was. But we know enough information in this triangle, 15 degrees and 20 uh, meters, to be able to find out the piece of the triangle that is shared. And that's the dash line. So from this angle uh, of 15, this is the opposite side, and this is the adjacent side. So the adjacent side is going to be what we're interested in finding. So that means opposite and adjacent is tan. So tan of 15 is equal to opposite, which is 20, over adjacent, which is A. We're going to switch the two, like we always do whenever the unknown is in the denominator. So A is equal to 20 divided by tan 15. And A is equal to 74.64 meters. So that's the distance between the two buildings and the shared piece of this triangle. Let's write that in. 74.64 meters. Now we can use that side and uh, the angle that we're given to find this side, we'll just call it x. It is the opposite side uh, of that angle and we're using the adjacent. So again, we're looking at tan. Tan of 30 degrees this time is equal to x, which is our opposite side and what we want to know over the adjacent side. So that would be 74.64. We multiply these two together. We move this up top and multiply them to get x. So x is equal to tan of 30 multiplied by 74.64. x is equal to 43.1 meters. So that's not the height of the building. The height of the building is 20 meters for this portion plus 43.1 meters for the top portion. So 20 plus 43.1 gives us 63.1 meters. Solving the shared part of the triangle gave us the key to finding the rest of the problem to be able to find out the total height of the building. Let's move on to the next one. Mm, yes, an observation tower. So, from the top of a 90-foot observation tower, I'll start by attempting to draw this as best I can. This is 90. And from the top of the 90-foot uh, observation tower, a fire ranger observes one fire due west. That is going to be over here uh, at an angle of 5 degrees. So that's an angle from the horizontal. So that's going to be over here. And from the horizontal, this is five degrees. So we're gonna label this west. W, uh, we have another one to the south. And that is at an angle of two degrees from the horizontal. So, these make right angles, so that is why we know that um, this leftover portion is 85 degrees, and this leftover portion here is 88 degrees, and this part is 90 feet, because um, if 5 degrees from the horizontal, that means from the vertical, it's 85 degrees, even if it doesn't seem like it. Now, these are all going to be right angle triangles at the bottom with the ground, uh, and east or west and south make right angle triangles as well. How far apart are these fires? So we want to know what this distance is from W to S. Okay. Um, first thing that we need to do is we need to find out what this value is and what this value is so that we can know something, anything, about that triangle. We know enough about these two triangles to find out what x and y will be. Um, so we are going to use, um, this is two degrees as well, and this is five degrees. We know uh, it's interior opposite angles. 
So I'm going to use those to find out what these sides should be. So I'm going to use tan as I have opposite and I'm interested in the adjacent side. So I've got tan of two degrees is equal to the opposite, which is 90 over x. Therefore, x is equal to 90 divided by the tan of two degrees. And x is equal to 2,577.3 feet. So that is that value right there. We can also find out what y is. It's using the same ratios, using the shared side. So tan of 5 this time is equal to 90 over y. So y is equal to 90 divided by tan 5. And y is equal to 1,028.7 feet. So now I have two parts of the triangle, a right angle triangle. And I'm just actually looking for the hypotenuse. Um, so I'll redraw it here real quick. Real small. But I have this side and I have this side. So I can use Pythagorean's theorem to find out what WS should be. Uh, it is the hypotenuse. So it is C. So remember C is equal to the root of a squared plus b squared, the other two sides. So that's 1028.7 squared plus 2577.3 squared. And that will get us uh, WS 2,775 feet. That is the distance between those two fires. Um, the one to the west and one to the south, 2,775 feet. So I was able to use the shared part of the triangle and my knowledge of uh, angles of elevation and depression to determine the two pieces of this right angle triangle that were required for me to find the final portion, the final side, that portion that we actually wanted. Let's move on. Uh, ooh, there's the on your own. Okay, so now it is your turn to pause the video, uh, do a little bit of work, try this out, see if you can figure out um, what the answer is, and then unpause it, and we can do it together. Okay, so a communications tower this time, not an observation tower, is 35 meters tall. So we have a communications tower and it's 35 meters tall. Uh, from a point due north of the tower, Tannis measures the angle of elevation to the top of the tower as 70 degrees. So Tannis is over here, measuring the angle of elevation from the horizontal here um, as 70 degrees. So that's good. Her brother Leaf, who is due east of the tower, so that would be over here, that's leaf. I know this isn't a perfect triangle, but we'll work with it. Measures the angle of elevation to the top of the tower to be 50 degrees. So we have two triangles and a shared side. It's likely we're going to need to use that. Um, how far apart are these students to the nearest meter? So again, we want to find this distance right here, TL, which is equivalent to finding WS in the last problem. Uh, we can again use tan of these two angles separately and the 35, the shared side, to find out what x and y are. Use Pythagorean's theorem to find out what the TL distance is. So tan of 50 is equal to opposite. Opposite of 50 is 35 and adjacent to it is x. So you switch the two, as you always do, and the unknown is in the bottom of the denominator. So that means x is equal to 35 divided by 10, 50. And x is equal to 12.74. Now that is meters. We can do the same for the other side to find y. Tan of 70 is equal to 35, the opposite shared side, divided by y. 
y is equal to 35 divided by 10 of 70 this time. y is equal to 29.4 meters. Again, we have the two sides, A and B, if you will, uh, of a right triangle. So we can find side C, no problem, um, using uh, Pythagorean's theorem. So side C, which is side TL, the distance between um, tannis and leaf that we want, is equal to the root of 29.4 squared plus 12.74 squared means that the distance between tennis and leaf is 31.1 meters. So I was able to again use the shared side in both of the problems to find out what we needed to know and be able to find out the final side. Uh, that is the end of our um, trigonometry journey together. Um, the end of lesson five. So next you've got some problems to do. I think there's an exit slip and then it's time to do the test. Um, if you have any questions about anything we've done so far, definitely let me know. Um, but other than that, enjoy the rest of the day. Bye.